I'm so tired. I don't even know why I'm tired, but I'm tired. It's Tuesday. I thought I was recording. I swear I hit record. I don't know if my phone stopped or what, but anyhow, I didn't say anything interesting yet. I was maybe 15 seconds in. This morning, Kevin sent over the property information, so I forwarded it for my phone and my iPad, and we're about to go over it together and see what they say the punch list is. Oh, Jesus, what is this? I just wanted a list, like a straightforward list. This has got charts and stuff I gotta decode. So he says, I do not see any inspections by the building department for final slab, framing, roof deck, roof, rough plumbing, or electrical. Ask builder to provide copies of inspections to date. So all of those are supposed to be in our little box outside of our house. And that is not there. Our, he said our roof looks good. Oh, that's cool. So we have like all the photos that the drone took yesterday for our roof. You went up in our attic and took photos. Only thing that's not complete for our exterior is the driveway, which I think we're gonna be in charge of because it's so long and they didn't allot any like money into our driveway. So we're working on that. And then address numbers, which I was wondering if we had, if address numbers were a, um, like something that the builder had to do, that makes sense why they put our address numbers in our master window printed out because that's like the holder place till they put the address numbers on our house. Okay. Um, so front doors need glass inserts installed. All doors need weather strips. Side door light does not work with wall switch. Interiors. Ceilings are satisfactory. Walls are not complete. Floors are common only. Cabinets and countertops are punch lists. Doors are punch list, attic access, oh yeah, bath glass, not complete, um, bath doors, hallways, and laundry are all satisfactory, so it says walls need full paint punch and repainting, um, floors should be carefully inspected after final clean, drawer left to sink tracks are crooked, corner upper cabinet should be trimmed for aesthetics installer cut oh yeah our installer for our cabinets cut into our ceiling to make our cabinet fit he didn't cut the cabinet he didn't cut the trim on the top of the cabinet he cut our ceiling how are they gonna fix that what there's a hole in our ceiling where they just decided to cut it and then try to caulk it but they caulked it horribly y'all I thought that I had some like faith in our cabinet people. Smoke and mirrors. He seemed amazing. We need um, a scuttle hole on Luca's side of the house. Um, okay, so punch list for plumbing system is bath fixtures and septic. There's no supply drain piping installed, no water to the house, could not test the water heater, and the bathtub is not sealed to the floor. Drain field should be soldered to prevent erosion, no power source for pump controller high level arm. All right, so then electrical punch list is GFCI, doorbell, wall switches and outlets, 240 outlet for the dryer. Oh, lovely. Wow, he checked all of our outlets with like a little plug thing, which I assumed Kevin was gonna do like when he does our punch list, but this guy already did it for us. Love that. So there are five outlets that have an open ground. I don't know what that means, but I know it's not good. So our doorbell is not functional. Numerous wall switches do not appear to have a function. You should walk through the home with the builder and highlight each switch slash outlet. Okay, so heating, central air conditioning, punch list, HVAC system. All of our vents are pushing air, so that's good. He did say that we should not be running our air or our heat right now. There's no reason. So he was like, y'all saw how dirty our house was. He was like, y'all are sucking this up in your air conditioner right now. He goes, 
it, I advise you to get a um, HEPA vac, like a HEPA vacuum and come in and do a vacuum yourself. Because if you ask the builder to clean, they're probably gonna bring in brooms and sweep it and it's just going to put it up in the air and then suck it even further into your ventilation system. So that's something that, I don't know when we're gonna have time to do that because Kevin's starting this current, not, okay, so it's Tuesday. The following weekend, Kevin starts working 12s till we don't know when. So I'm like, I don't know when we could get there and vacuum the house before the builder decides that he's gonna sweep the house. That makes me worried and that annoys me because he said that it's one, not good on the air conditioner to have all that dirt in there. And two, if they sweep, it's gonna make it worse. So that the, there's nothing on the punch list except there's no dedicated power source for our dishwasher. Um, so the dishwasher currently has nowhere to plug in. Oh, if I would have went all the way down, the punch list is written out for me. So, honestly, it's a lot, it's a lot of smalls and it's a lot of, I'm hoping easy fixes so far. And some of the stuff that's even on the punch list is just stuff that our builder hasn't done yet. Like our shower glass surround, where is it? That's on our punch list. Um, address numbers, punch list, where are they? But like for someone who's building a house and doesn't know like, hey, that's supposed to be there. Obviously our shower surround, we know is supposed to be there, but like the address numbers, I thought maybe we had to do those. I didn't realize that they have to do those. So this has been helpful. This gives me a peace of mind. This makes me feel like we're not going crazy. He told us we're not nitpicky, that he has customers who are nitpicky and that he's dealt with those and he doesn't get those vibes from us, which was really nice. So I am happy with this. Minus are all the inspections for the final slab framing, roof deck, roof, rough plumbing and electrical are missing from our box. That's a little sus, a little concerning. Where are those? And did we pass? Because we've been told we've passed, but I don't think we've ever seen proof that we passed. Boy, don't be lying to us. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm gonna go in the back room with Luca and hang out with him. And then we're gonna do breakfast here soon. I'm cooking today. What? Oh yeah, we're gonna do breakfast for dinner tonight. Uh, Kevin requested that. And it sounds yummy. It's simple. I got my calendar all updated for February. I did that last night. So now I've got my meals on there and I can just glance and see what we're doing, but I do need to go ahead and take the pork chops out because I believe those are the next meal. It's a meal I'm gonna make tomorrow while Alicia's here and, um, I thought I heard Luca crying. Um, that's the meal I'm gonna make while Alicia's here and they need to thaw. So I need to grab those real quick, pop them in the fridge. And then, yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do for today. I need to wash my hair and that's really the only thing on my my punch list for today. <laughs> um TMI, but like I we're all ladies here. I check my analytics, we're all ladies. Um they don't tell you how wild and wacky your period gets after you have a baby. I got my period back six and a half months postpartum and it was a glorious six and a half months of not having a period after having him. And I was hoping it was gonna go to like a year. You know, I've heard people be like, I didn't get my period back for a year. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm breastfeeding out the ass. I'm not gonna get my period back. Six and a half months, it was like, hey, welcome me back, bitch. I used to have three day light periods that were like easy as pie. Now, they are heavy, they are painful, they are just absolutely horrible. And apparently that's just something that happens after birth, after you have a baby. Add that to the list of things no one tells you. Um, and they've just been all over the place. You can't, you don't know when to expect it. It's never on time. Um, a while ago, it was a week late and I was like freaking out. 
this month nine days early and I was like what's happening is it happening and then at the end of that day I was like it's happening we're nine days early so I'm on day three already um like I said they used to last three days now they go upwards of a week or more and um they just progressively ramp up during those times during those days I feel like someone needs to make a list of like things that they don't tell you about birth and postpartum and make it available to people I would have read it I tried to prepare myself the best I could and still I've been blindsided by so much stuff we're having breakfast. We're having our eggs, blueberries, and cereal. Hmm. I'm having my toast. Is it good? Good? Yeah. So I've been trying to be a little better about myself in the mornings. Mornings are just like, I've never been a great food eater in the morning unless I'm like out and buying food then I feel like I can eat okay but like here at the house it's kind of hard for me to eat in the morning I never really have an appetite I usually drink my coffee have a piece of toast and call it a day but I'm trying to get better so I remembered that when I was pregnant with Luca I drank these things called boost all the time and they're just like protein protein balanced nutritional drinks they've got nutritional energy and protein vitamins and minerals so the one that i like is the rich chocolate one i went through a couponing phase a while ago when i was pregnant and i had time to coupon oh man i wish i was vlogging then because the amount of stuff that i got for free was ridiculous but like I don't have time it took a lot of planning it took a lot of driving around it took a lot of time in the store and math it was fun mm. while I was pregnant and I had nothing else to do but now that I have a little child I could never um maybe not until he's older and then I could maybe do it again but we'll see <laughs> anyhow I would get these when they were on sale all the time and then you could stack coupons on top of sales at like Walgreens or CVS. So I would get these for like next to nothing. I would get like six, like four six packs for like two bucks or something stupid. So anyhow, I remember them being very delicious, very good. So I had Kevin pick these back up again and I've been having one, not every morning, but in the mornings when I am like, I could use a little something extra. I'm gonna make myself a chalky milk and I grabbed one of these. So I just had one of those and Luca is finishing up his breakfast. It's already 8.40, so that means he goes down for his first nap in an hour. I sold a pin last night, so I need to package that up and get it out during his first nap before our mailman comes. And then, oh, my suction cup case. I think it's still on the front porch because I don't see it anywhere in the house. Sometimes Kevin checks our front porch when he gets home late at night. Sometimes he doesn't. It just depends on how he's feeling. Um, but it got delivered after I went to bed last night. So I never got to see it. So we'll check that out during his first nap too. I feel like I am fighting for my life with my uterus child. That's how I feel. Oh. All right, y'all. I have gotten my shower. Okay, our packages are not out here. Okay, crisis averted. I found them. Um, sometimes when Kevin grabs stuff, it'll make it like halfway into the house and then that's it. So, um, it made it into the laundry room. I went out there because I remembered that I had started washing some blankets on Sunday and then I forgot to put them in the dryer. So they've just been wet in the washer this whole time. So I'm running them through one more time to wash them because that's just gross to me. 
them sitting in there wet. So um, when I went out there to start the washer again, I found the package. So let's take a look. It definitely did not come in anything but a little like holographic bag. So this is what it looks like. And this is the exact one that I saw that the girl was like, does not work. Gosh, dang it. Okay, let me take my case off and then that way I can still film, but I'll show you guys. Okay, so I can use this as an example. See how, see how that like clicks? Hold on. Now that I put the pop socket on there and I'm trying to move it around. Hmm. It's just sliding around. Okay. I'm trying to think. I don't think this one's going to work. I think I'm going to have to send this one back and get the other one. So I said there was one other one that I was looking at. And after I placed this order, I ended up thinking the other one was going to be much better and I think it's going to so dang well we're gonna have to return this one so my thought for today I went ahead and I washed my hair before Luca um before I put Luca down for his nap and I just blew my bangs dry and kind of like did them a little bit I blew the rest of my hair semi-dry I think what I'm going to work on today is packing up my pins. So I have a big board of pins in my office and I actually bought a different board system for them to go on once we move. Um, so I won't need that cork board anymore. And the board system that I bought is from our friends Go Pin Pro. And the way that they make their boards are so, like, the pins just glide effortlessly into them and it doesn't mess up the pin posts. Whereas cork boards are really hard on your pins and can mess up the pin posts. So, um, when I bought that cork board, I, did I know about them at that time? I don't think so. I just bought, like, the biggest cork board I could find off Amazon so anyhow, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to take one final photo of my pins that I have for reference, and then um, I'm going to start packaging them up. Kevin got me these containers from the Dollar Tree a while ago, back when I was trying to organize my pins by their categories and stuff, and so I think I'm going to pack them back into that. I'm hoping they're all going to fit. I may have to get more tubs for them now because I definitely have more pins now than I did when I was organizing them. So, um, yeah, I thought I would maybe like time lapse that. So this is my current pin board. It is maxed out. As you can see, I have no more room on it. So I'm going to, every like pin is in a collection. So I showed this in like my very first video, but like this is Luca, this is Monsters Inc, Zootopia, Parks, um, Toy Story, Little Ratatouille, um, Emperor's New Groove, and then Halloween. So all of that will go into their correct bin, which I have these bins. I didn't pack them up, did I? <gasps> Gabby. <gasps> Gabby. 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 Like an idiot, I packed my bins up. And like an idiot, I don't know what box they're in. Oh, they're in one of these boxes. I think I thought I was being like productive. Oh, there's also boxes up there. I think I thought I was being productive and then... Dang it. Okay, 
here's what I figured out. Because the motivation is there, and I do have it right now, even though I feel like I'm dying, death by uterus, um, I'm going to try to see what boxes I can get to and then see which ones they are. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I think I see them in a handle. You guys, this is them. Okay, so I only have to move these two boxes up here to get to them. Oh, Gabby. Okay, 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 okay. I got them down. Do I think it's going to be enough? No, but it's going to help. It'll get me started at least. So our friends also made, what is that? Oh God, my hair is like, my little tiny pieces are starting to curl. Um, our friends also made these pin poppers. So they slide underneath your pin and they help you get them off the board so your thumbs and your fingers don't get messed up. They're a lifesaver. They sell them at their store and they sell them on their website, which I can link their website below. Um, okay, so let's take all these down. smallest collection which was Luca and then Luca the real Luca decided to wake up so I'm about to go in and grab him and then I guess we're gonna play for a little while until his second nap and then hopefully his second nap is a big fat juicy one and I can get some stuff done because having to find the boxes or having to find the tubs through a kink in my whole plan. All right, I just finished my leftovers in the fridge for lunch. Luca's finishing up his leftovers from the other day. We got him his very first kid's meal, which is like so cute and so wild. I've been waiting for this day. Um, but he's finishing up some mac and cheese and um, some turkey. He really likes turkey especially from Bonos. So anyhow, he's eating away. Huh? Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. <clears throat> he's picking out of his snack pocket. So tonight for dinner, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to have breakfast. So I'm going to make waffles. I don't think I have any more chocolate chips. I only have, okay, well, I'm gonna make peanut butter waffles for myself, like peanut butter chip waffles. Um, I have a keto waffle mix for Kevin, a regular waffle mix for me, probably make some eggs and some bacon. And then, do we have any sausage? I think Kevin is eating all the sausage. Yeah, that'll be an easy-ish dinner. Sometimes the waffles take a little time to make. Um, I still need to take the pork chops out of the freezer. Gabby, do not forget. As soon as Luca's done eating and he doesn't have any more food on his tray and or in his mouth, I will go out and grab them really quick. I just, I'm terrified to walk away from him while he has food on his plate. 
Um, but as soon as he's done, I'll go grab those, pop them in our inside fridge. So then by this time tomorrow, they can be de-thawed and then I can make those. Oh, and I need to take out the mashed potatoes for those to thaw because those take some time too, like 24 hours. So I'll show you both of those. And then Luke is also going to have a once, once, a once upon a farm fruit and veggie blend once he's done with his um, stuff that's on his plate. made we had like two-thirds of a banana left and I went ahead and made Luca his banana pancake mixture and I'm wondering if it would work in the waffle iron so he's just kind of like grazing taking his time so I'm just taking advantage of him being busy him eating and doing stuff that I need to get done here in the kitchen while keeping an eye on him. I know. I'm gonna put your pouch back in the fridge while you're still working on your food. So I'm trying to think, do I want to do the waffle iron and try to cook it? Or do I wanna try to do it on the stove how I've been doing it? I think I'm gonna try the waffle iron because like, Worst case, who knows? Um, so this is the waffle iron that I have. It's just a little dash waffle iron, like a little personal one. We have a bigger, nice waffle iron, a Belgium waffle iron that we got for our uh, wedding, on our wedding registry. But um, I, oh, he doesn't like aerosols, so. Good job, Luca. Yay, you didn't even realize, did you? So I have kept all of my stuff, or all of our stuff that we got on our wedding registry. We haven't used any of it because I was like, it would be so nice to move and then have like a ton, not a ton, but a decent amount of like new things, like new cutting boards, new towels, new, we got an Instapot, never used it. Still somewhere in the kitchen, I think. Um, so just like everything we got on our wedding registry, we packed away. And I was like, it's gonna be so nice to move into our new house, new cutting boards, new like the measuring cups and stuff, all new. So I was like, it's going to be so nice to get there and like have new stuff in a new house. So where was I? Oh yeah. So we don't have like a normal size waffle iron right now. <laughs> we have little tiny mini ones, but they work fine and I love them a lot. So for his banana pancakes this time, I put in some uh, cinnamon. So I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. Hopefully y'all can hear me fine. I, I didn't grab my uh, my mic. All right. So I've got my container here that I'm going to end up putting them in. Ah, 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 ah. Fun story. One time Alicia and I took these waffle irons cause she has one too. One time we took them to Disney thinking we were gonna be like, smart and like use them as a toaster to toast our bread we almost set the fire alarm off because they do smoke a whole hell of a lot you're panic y'all so i didn't fill it up all the way and now thinking about that i probably should have so the next one i probably will not make a mini one i'll fill it up all the way um but for this you just need a fork so you can kind of pop it out. That's not done, even though it claims it's done. It's usually really good at timing them, but I think because this one's banana and oats, it's a little like confused. So we got one done. 
one done. All right, that should maybe be a full one. We'll see. Cool, that way Luca will have these for dinner tonight and for breakfast tomorrow morning. Um, that way he has a little something different. He's been having his eggs, blueberry, and uh, Cheerios every morning, and he's been loving it, but I don't wanna like burn him out on food, certain foods, so. This is your last day having mac and cheese for a little while because you've eaten it all, all the ones that we got you. How you doing? You're doing really good. You've only got a few more pieces of turkey left and not much left in your snack pouch. See how much smoke? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but like a lot of white smoke. Lots of white smoke. But it's like, it's fine. It's okay in there. It's just, I don't know why it smokes like that so much. But I know it's like, I know it's not just mine because Alicia's does it too, so. I'm trying to get my fork up underneath it. The only thing that was left is three pieces of turkey. Kid downed it. Is it good? You like those ones, huh? You wanna share? Here, can I have some? Can I have some? Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing. That was so nice. That was so nice. I'm gonna finish up his last waffle and then play with him till it's his nap time. And then once he goes down for a nap, I'll probably get back with you guys. I did just remember to take out pork chops and Kevin's keto mashed cauliflower sides. <laughs> Both of these were in the deep freeze, so. Okay, so as you guys saw, Luca is down for his second nap. I don't even know how long it's been, hold on. An hour has already passed, which is wild. Um, I've gotten almost all of my pins off my board. I have my Ratatouille, my Halloween, and my, oh God. I've got Ratatouille, Halloween, Haunted Mansion, Coraline, and some other random pins that need a tub. Um, I tried to lay any of my bubble pins or anything like that on the very top, so hopefully they don't get smashed or damaged. I have a few bubble pins, but I feel like I made a decent, like, dent, so not bad. I don't know how I have one extra lid to a container, but I can't find the container. That's baffling me. Mm, I see another container I can use. Okay, I may do a little bit more packing now because I just spotted an empty container that I can, well, it's not empty, but I can clear it out and use it for something. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So it's this blue container. It just has backs in it, which is helpful because this thing was filled to the top with backs and pretty much the only backs that I really am starting to have left are metal backs and I don't like to really use metal backs so that's exciting. I'm gonna pull these out and then dump those in there and finish at least packing up this board and I'll probably pull down my Haunted Mansion pins that I have up there and pack those. All right, so here's my Coraline collection. I have more Coraline pins on the way that I'm super excited about. I just bought a little pin lot of Coraline pins off of Macari, 
and the girl had them for such a good price. It was like 50 bucks for a completed um, like set and extras. So I'm very excited about that. But these, this is my non-Disney pin board. So I have Coraline. And then up top I have Shrek. Then I have the McDonald's Chicken Nuggets. They, the McDonald's Chicken Nuggets came out from hot topic and they also had halloween ones that i could never find the nuggets dressed up as halloween characters so i'm on the hunt for those but i don't know if i'll ever get my hands on them because apparently they're very sought after and then i have a small beetlejuice collection and a small literally two pins that is um the adams family two bats this is luca's little pin board that i have for him so far All right, so I'm not doing anything like mind blowing tonight for dinner. Um, the waffles that I'm gonna make Kevin are the Birch Benders Micro Pancakery Keto Carb Friendly Chocolate Chip Waffles. And the ones that I make for myself are just their classic original waffle mix. And I'm going to put some peanut butter chocolate chips in mine. Waffles never look as pretty as Kevin's. Mine are very like white. Kevin's have like this beautiful golden brownness to them. I don't understand. I think it's a different flower they use. But anyhow, I'm interested. I've never had the um, peanut butter chocolate chips in my waffles. So I'm interested to see how those are. I'm gonna set these aside. I'm gonna do eggs really quick. Kevin's on his way home. And breakfast is, breakfast for dinner is done. Lucas meal, he's enjoying his blueberries first. Kevin's meal, and then I put mine on a regular plate because I just took a picture of his. 